Hello friends, it's Nate. I am here. Uh, I've been wanting to upload a video for a while, but we had some family stuff going on. Uh, had some stuff stored down in my shop area that kind of made it way too cluttered. Uh, but one project I'm working on now is, I'll show you the workbench. I'll show you my area. Uh, one project I'm working on currently is, you will see once I show you everything, that I don't have any storage. Everything just kind of sits out and it's a mess. Uh, I made a really nice workbench which I enjoy, but the thing is so deep that for me to hang anything up, you've really got to stretch to reach it, which then, as any of you know that hang things up, it just gets piled up. So currently, everything's piled up on my table. Here's a workbench. It's a fairly good sized workbench. It's about seven foot long. Uh, Got a good LED light above it. I've got some saw horses that I made to assist. I've got my Delta table saw, some wood, and back over here I've got my wall of tools. Well, that's where my bench originally was. I also have a really nice drill press that I got from family member for a really good price ridiculous uh, anyway so down below I am going to build a bunch of drawers um, I'm setting these at about an inch and a half every drawer will be every slot will be an inch and a half from the one above it uh, and I'm just gonna use quarter inch plywood for the bottom of the drawers because I'm not gonna be putting a ton of weight and I'll be using uh, three quarter inch or a half inch uh, for the sides in the back of the drawers and for the front I'll do something nice but doing it at an inch and a half I will be able to set the drawers oh. uh, I can do drawers at inch and a half three inches or even six inches deep uh, and then I'll be able to arrange them however I want so as of right now I just have the tops and the bottoms cut these are going to be the end spacers, uh, the ends. So I'm going to build a box. And I've started to measure out the lines for uh, the inch and a half. I'm, I've got my trim router. I'm going to put a quarter inch bit in and cut the grooves on the end, the two end pieces of the box. And then I will work on the one, two, three inner pieces off another piece of plywood. So all in all, it's going to take about two pieces of plywood. Uh, no, about a piece and a half of plywood. And then a piece of quarter inch full sheet of plywood. So that's where I'm going from there. As I continue on, I will make updates and show progress. It's the first video I'm doing, so it's a learning experience. 